What kind of an impact is Central Community Church having on our community, our state, our country, and our world? My friends, never underestimate the valuable and important difference you make in every life you touch. For the impact that you make today has a powerful rippling effect on every tomorrow. Acts 1.8 tells us, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Just like a stone dropped in a pond, there is a ripple effect created when we make an impact that goes far and wide beyond the point of our first contact. Wikipedia explains it this way. A ripple effect is a situation in which, like ripples expanding across the water when an object is dropped into it, an effect from an initial state can be followed outwards incrementally. If we want to make an impact as a church, then we need to obey the great commission Jesus gave us in Matthew 28. I have been given all authority in heaven and earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. As a church, we have a mission to know Christ and make him known. This means that the members of our church invest time and energy in developing a strong relationship with Christ. We pray, we read scripture, share together in our life groups, serve one another, and reach out to those outside the walls of our church building in our community, at our jobs, schools, and even in our neighborhoods. We contribute to our church monetarily and with our gifts and talents. We serve together with local ministries in our community and travel with teams to serve with mission partners all over the world. Through all of these experiences with Christ at the center, we come to know him more and our passion to make him known increases. Central Community offers many opportunities to invite others to cross over the curb. Last November, over 2,500 families came to receive a turkey and donated the ingredients for a Thanksgiving meal which gave us an occasion to interact and pray with them. Special Christmas and Easter musical productions and worship service provide other possibilities, along with concerts and our Candy Rush events for those in our community to come and join us. Funerals and a variety of support groups are avenues that bring many who are hurting to find support and hope in Christ through our ministries. Weddings and other special events bring others to our campus to celebrate life. Just recently, I did a funeral service for a 25-year-old boy. As we were talking about how we wanted the schedule of the service to go, we happened to be in the atrium. All the tables and all of the goodies were set up for the big Thanksgiving giveaway. This family, who did not have a church home, turned to me and said, what are all of these about? I shared with them that that coming Saturday, they, we were going to be delivering turkey meals, dinners, to all these people that were coming onto our campus. You know what their response was? Can we help out? That's exactly why we do what we do. When people see the love of Christ in us and then have an opportunity to join in with us to work in our community, it helps us to know Christ and to make him known. Now, as important as it is to invite people, 
and it is very important, Jesus asked us to take it further than that. He asked us to make disciples. Well, what is a disciple? It's a follower of Christ, but even a little bit more than that. It's a fully devoted follower of Christ. Jesus explained it this way in Mark chapter 8. Then, calling the crowd to join his disciples, he said, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the good news, you will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my message in these adulterous and sinful days, the Son of Man will be ashamed of that person when he returns in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. You see, it is not enough to simply believe in Jesus. To know Christ is to recognize him for who he is, the sovereign God, and to know him experientially through having an intimate relationship with him. 2 Timothy 2 explains further what a disciple is commissioned to do. You have heard me teach things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. Know Christ and make him known. Making him known leads to discipleship. When we introduce someone to Christ and they fully surrender to his lordship, we have impacted a life for eternity. We can continue to do this one by one, helping each person mature in the faith. If we lead one person a week to Christ, we will add 52 new believers to Christ's family each year. And after 10 years, at that rate, we would be very busy discipling 520 converts if none of them fell away. But instead, if we disciple each person that we lead to Christ to lead and disciple another one who will lead and disciple another, We multiply our efforts and make a huge impact for God's kingdom. If we only lead two people to Christ per year and disciple them to each lead and disciple one more, we will have multiplied our efforts through others and in 10 years, we will have 1,024 disciples. Pretty amazing, isn't it? It is a picture of Matthew 13 The seed that fell on good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as been planted. Now that is an impact. The power of one means that each individual person matters to God. Jesus told this parable in Luke. Many dishonest tax collectors and other notorious sinners often gathered around to listen as Jesus taught the people. This raised concerns with the Jewish religious leaders and experts of the law. Indignant, they grumbled and complained, saying, Look at how this man associates with all these notorious sinners and welcomes them all to come to him. In response, Jesus gave them this illustration. There once was a shepherd with a hundred lambs. But one of his lambs wandered away and was lost. So the shepherd left the 99 lambs out in the open field and searched in the wilderness for that one lost lamb. He didn't stop until he finally found it. With exuberant joy, he raised it up and placed it on his shoulders, carrying it back with cheerful delight, returning home. He called all his friends and neighbors together and said, Let's have a party. Come and celebrate with me the return of my lost lamb. It wandered away, but I found it and brought it home. Jesus continues, In the same way, there will be a glorious celebration in heaven over the rescue of one lost sinner who repents, comes back home, 
and returns to the fold, more so than for all the righteous people who never strayed away. Every life matters to God. So when we reach out in love to any of God's kids, we bless God, that person, and we bless ourselves. Then, when they have a revelation of who God really is and surrender it to him, that life is impacted for eternity and the party begins. Imagine the multiplication principle occurring through church members all over Central Community and even beyond into our community and through the people watching our services being broadcast over the internet all over the world. Each person becomes a disciple who reaches out to disciple yet another who disciples another and on it goes. In addition to that, through financial and prayer support, along with sending church members to travel beyond 6100 West Maple throughout the United States and the world to serve, we truly are making an impact that is being experienced all over the world. I had a good friend of mine at the church not too long ago that as he came to faith, he had an opportunity to share that faith with others. You know who he shared it with? His own family members. On his brother's deathbed, he led him to the Lord. And then not just once, but more than two times, God affirmed to him that the work he had done had changed the eternal life of his brother forever. That's the impact that we can have in our community and world if we're just willing to step out in faith and share the good news of Jesus Christ. We will have all eternity to celebrate what God has done through Central Community Church and to praise him for calling us to be a part of it. Every day we can choose to make a difference in another person's life. And that will make a ripple effect across the world and throughout time. I don't know about you, but I know that I don't want to waste a single moment in this lifetime to make a powerful impact with my church family that we will celebrate for all of eternity. Let's you and I work together to make this happen. I'm really thankful that you have spent these last six weeks with us as we've talked about the purpose and mission of our church and where you find yourself in this mission. My prayer is that if you haven't already, call the church, get involved, and be a part of what we're doing here in knowing Christ and making him known. God bless you.